Welcome, children of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show us. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book. If you didn't know there is a prize in the holy book, there is a prize in the holy book. Also, I called on our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I received my testimony in which I'm going to read unto you and break it down to you and tell you what our grandfather God, yes, our grandfather God, the only father, is our grandfather God because I read to you that Jesus is the creator of everything. Oh, grandfather God. I know it's written to pray our Father who art in heaven. But please, hear this prayer. Please do what's written. Show them who I called on, for they do not believe that there is you, Grandfather. Make them call you Grand. You're going to do something marvelous. Please do it. Hold no longer. I told them before 2024, you're going to have their attention and point them into the direction of your son. Yes, make this world call on our Lord and Savior. Thank you, children, for coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. What don't God's children understand? What don't God's children understand? Part 5. Welcome, children of God, St. John, the third chapter, the 33rd to the 36th verse. He that receive his testimony have set to his seal, God is true. 34th verse. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God. For God giveth him not the spirit by measure unto him. 35th verse. The father loved the son and have given all things unto his hands. 36th verse. He that believeth on the Son have everlasting life. And he that believeth not, the Son shall not see life. He that believeth not, the Son shall not receive life. Shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth in him. Oh, how I need Jesus. He will fix this world. I receive my testimony and no one seems to believe me. Oh, my Lord and Savior, please, in your name, to the only Father, God, yes, I called on both of them. Oh, my Lord and Savior, please, in your name too, the only Father God, please do what is written. Show the world who I called on. Oh, our Lord God, when Samuel Minister unto you, I know reading your words, but did Samuel talk about the, this world? I read your word about being saved by taking heed unto your doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing so, I can save myself in them that hear me. What I read, 
your word, my Lord. They say they are saved, and they don't hope to be saved. I'm learning about you, my Lord God. How your only Father, God, loved the Son. He loved the world. Our only Father, God, our grandfather, God, loved us and gave us love. But we think, I don't know what we think love is. Oh, me, through your words, show me, through your words, the appointed time. I believe the only Father God sent his only begotten Son who believed our Lord God's word. What don't you understand? children of God. Let's look up the 35th chapter, the 33rd chapter it has in it. What have set to, have set to, St. John, the 6th chapter, the 27th verse, labor not for meat which perish but for that meat which endureth until unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him have the God, the Father, the only Father, sealed. O oh Lord, Father God, Jesus Christ, 40 years, I have labored. No one hid of your house a prayer. My Lord, teach and read about the race. You, my Lord God Almighty, have showed us in your words. Run all. That's what I read to you. Nor has they read you coming back, and why you're coming back. It seems them heads of your house do it for the meat that perish. In your name, I will call them out to repent. Oh, Lord, they made themselves lofty and covetous. Yes, covenants. Trying to get something that don't belong to them. See, that house that he's coming back for, it don't belong to them. It belonged to him. Whom I called on. And there's no doubt everything belonged to the only Father God. Our grandfather God. The 33rd verse, God is true. Romans, the third chapter, the fourth verse, God forbid, yea, let God be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that the mightiest be justified in thy saying. The mightiest overcome when thou art judged. Oh, my Lord and only Father God, they judge me and put a stumbling block in my way. What don't God's children understand? The 33rd verse, God is true. The First John, the fifth chapter, the tenth verse. He that believeth on the Son of God have the witness in himself. He that believeth not God have made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave his Son. Who believe God's word? 
the 34th chapter. For he whom, for he whom God set to his seal, God is true. St. John, the 7th chapter, the 16th verse. Jesus answered them and said, my doctrine is not mine, but is that sent me, but his that sent me, his father sent him and gave him the doctrine. I received the doctrine and all I can do is read to you. I can't tell you you're going to hell. I can't judge you like those that are head of God's house telling you what to do. See, I read the child no right from wrong, so what I'm going to say something to grown folks? Oh, no, not me. I learned the doctrine I received is the only Father God, our grandfather God, the Word was with God. That's our God. The word was with God. Jesus is the word. And the word was God. Jesus is God. I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm telling you, Jesus created all things. Oh, Lord, do the children know what my Lord delights? I keep telling you what he delights. I read it to you. What don't God's children understand? The 34th verse, by measured unto Ezekiel. The 4th chapter, the 16th verse. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. Astonishment. Great surprise. That's what it means. This is what our Lord going to show us. For the hardness of the venom. Remember I told you there's going to be a venom not of bread or water. But of hearing the word of God. Oh, children of God. Read Ezekiel. The fourth chapter, the twelfth verse. You will be thankful. That our Lord God is not going to do this to his children. But if he do, <laughs> beware. Because he tell you what's going to happen before it even happens. Astonishing. Our only Father God is going to do that before our Lord and Savior come back. Yes. Then he will come. When the world say, woe unto the world, not the world say, up there, the people, woe unto this world. For evil has come. And God is going to show you that evil. As I say, you will be thankful. But read that chapter uh, Ezekiel, the fourth chapter, the twelfth verse. Just that twelfth verse. And then you'll say, wow. But you might want to read the rest of it. Reading, I learned, it is not our Lord God going to do the astonishment. It will be our grandfather God. What give it away? He said unto me, son of man, behold, I will, yea, I will, said the son of man, our God. Yes, he said to our God, he 
sit down, I'll make this world your footstool. The 34th chapter, by measured unto, is, has copied St. John. The first chapter, the 14th and 16th verse. And the word was made flesh and dwell among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The 16th verse. And of his fullness have we, have all we receive, and grace for grace. For by grace are we saved, through faith. You don't get it? By grace we are saved through faith. And his fullness have we received. And grace for grace. Grace, the truth was given to us. It is written, word was made flesh. I know Jesus Christ became the true and living word. All things was given unto our Lord God Almighty. Yeah, Jesus Christ. The 35th chapter. The Father loveth. The Father loveth the Son. Can't get him to turn from him. Yeah, they are one. Now you understand what one is. St. John, the fifth chapter, the 20th verse. For the Father loved the Son and showed him all things that himself does. Do it. And he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. <laughs> now, our grandfather God is going to make us marvel. <laughs> marvel, boy. He's going to do some stuff to us. St. Matthew, the third chapter, the 17th verse. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. His father, our grandfather God, please. Our Lord and Savior wrote to us to show we will know what has happened and what is going to happen. Our grandfather, God, gave us love and a father, God. Now we know the only father, God, is going to show us marvelous things. Marvelous things. Who believe our Lord God's word? What I'm reading, what don't God's children understand? 35th chapter. Have given all unto his son. St. Matthew, the 28th chapter, the 18th verse. And Jesus, and Jesus, our Lord and Savior, came and speak unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Our Lord and Savior, all power was given unto him. The word was God, and all power is given unto, make it plain, Jesus Christ. Jesus said unto the children of God, all, Power given unto him who I called on. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book to share with all God's children who believe 
our Lord God's word. The 36th chapter. He that believeth. St. John. The 3rd chapter. The 15th, 16th, and 18th verse. Make it plain. That whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. 16th verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life the 18th verse. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Now, only begotten Son don't make you God's children don't make our grandfather our God, even though he is our grandfather God. But our father, who created us from the mother's womb, that's what I read. He is our father. And you'll know it because marvelous things he's going to do. 36th chapter. He that believeth. St. John, the first chapter, the 12th verse. But as many has received him, to them gave he power to become the sons, daughters too, of God even to them that believe on his name. If you believe on his name, he will make you a son of his. Our Lord and Savior, I'm here for an example to show everybody that everybody say they called on somebody well, I called on our Lord and Savior, God Almighty. Oh, yes, I called on the Grandfather God, too. And I read to you up to now why I say Jesus is our Father. I'm reading it to you now, what he gave us. Our only Father God, Grandfather God, gave him unto us. This verse, it is written, St. John, the first chapter, the 13th verse, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. Yeah, we think because we got a seed and we put it in somebody that man and women think they are something to them. No, we're something to God. We are the spirit. It's in our hearts. Inside, the heart is where we will find our soul, the spirit. Who believe our Lord God's word? St. John. And St. John, this is he that believeth. St. John. The sixth chapter, the 40th and the 47th verse. And this is the will of him that sent me. That everyone which seems that seeth the Son, and believeth on him, may have everlasting life, and will raise him up at the last day. 
the 47th verse. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me have everlasting life. And in St. John 11th chapter 25th verse, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Death, where's thy sting? Grave, where's your victory? That's something that is written that everybody's going to say also. Going to look for death and then going to find it. And St. John, the 20th chapter, the 31st verse. But these are written that ye may believe that Christ is, that Jesus is Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. The 36th verse. He that believeth. Hedabak. H-A-B-A-K-K-U-K. The second chapter. The fourth verse. Behold. His soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. The just shall live by his faith. It is written in, in that H-A-B-A-K-K-U-K, -K -K, the second chapter, third verse. For the vision is yet for a pointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. An appointed time. Read. H-A-B-A-K-K-U-K. -K -K. Chapter 2. The Judgment of the Calistine. In the verse 2, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the table that he may run that readeth it. Run? Oh, there's a race in the holy book to believe, to show God's children that we are children of God who believe our Lord God's word. This is what our Lord God going to show us. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book, ministering to our Lord God Almighty and Grandfather God. All people are my witnesses. 36th verse. He that believeth. Romans, the first chapter, the 17th verse. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. I remember in uh, going to church, and I said, my sister's birthday was yesterday, and we had a party for her. Well, we didn't have a party for her, but her children, my nephew took care of business, had all our friends there and our family there, and we had a ball. Happy birthday, Joyce. 
I'm trying to run in the race, and I like for God's children to tell the children of God to listen to the reading of God's word. I'm not trying to change nobody, and I'm te not telling anyone they're going to hell because all things are forgiven except one thing. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to run to our Lord. I'm trying to run to our Lord God Almighty. I'm trying to run to the truth and the light that shine in you and me. I'm trying to run. I'm going to run. To the one that wept and prayed for you and me. I'm going to praise his name. Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah. I'm going to, I'm going to run to that old me. Beloved son and my grandfather God, our grandfather God sent his only beloved son, our grandfather God, he's going to do marvelous things, oh, I'm going to run. I'm going to run, I'm going to run to that only beloved son, the one that wept and prayed for you and me, the one that created everything new for me and you. I'm going to run to the truth. That is the light that's going to make it free. Ain't all right. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. I'm going to run to that only beloved son. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. I'm going to run to the true. That is the light that shines in me and you. I'm going to run to that truth. The truth that is the light that shines in me and you. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. I'm gonna run. Welcome to run all God's children and may God be with us because it's gonna get awful hot in a minute. Take care of yourself.